What's up everybody, it's Red Bulma TV here coming at you again with another video. Now I just can't stop making Dragon Ball Super videos due to the finale finale coming up this week. And this one is going to pertain to the December release of the newest Dragon Ball movie that they are hyping up to be the best one yet. Even though we are so far away from it. And that is Dragon Ball Super the movie. So here it is, here's, a, here's some news that I've been picking up, there's more news coming out in the next couple days, even possibly hours, so we're just going to have to sit tight, wait for that to come out, but I'll just dive right into it. So the director, uh, I'm going to botch this name, so just be ready for that, Akio Aikoyu, um, and he actually has a quote saying, the world of Dragon Ball will not end, so look forward to more content. So I mean, and he's referencing to after the movie. So, I mean, you, you just know that even if there isn't a new Dragon Ball Super series, which, I mean, I would bet my life on that there is going to be, there is at least going to be more and more movies. They have so much stuff that they have to dive into that we'll all get into what I was about to say later. But, all right, moving on before I just get off on a tangent. Um, so, there's another quote from Akira Toriyama, the legend himself. He says, A Saiyan from a time that's not from Goku's time. Now, that's him describing the villain, obviously. And so, that is just to lead into what what the possible theories that I've been reading online of what this villain is. So, clearly, we know from that quote, it just point blank says that this dude's just not from Goku's time. So, where is he from? Is he from the past, future? The way this is phrased makes it sound like it's not from a different universe because I was starting to think it's from universe 6 because if, if you look at Kappa's um, design he or Kappa he looks the, the armor of his versus the villain the small bit that we've seen of the villain in the trailer they kind of look similar but it looks like the villains could be like an older detail so it, it, they look similar enough where it kind of got my head turning so I I've seen a couple of theories of that online, that they go to Universe 6. I even had the personal theory where the, the trailer takes place on Universe 6's Earth, because Universe 6 now has an Earth. But based off this quote, I'm going to change that. I don't think that's what's happening. I think this is going to take place in Universe 7, and it is going to be from the past. Now, from the, um, there is the first Super Saiyan God is what a lot of people are thinking this is going to be. The villain is going to be the legendary person who was who turned Super Saiyan and then was struck down by his enemies. He had a group of five followers that followed him around, but after he was killed, his soul was restless until he met six righteous Saiyans. So it, it sounds like this could be him, but uh, that that's not clear at all. It could just be someone from his time. But the the battle armor, I've read a couple of theories, and it's and people have said that it looks like the armor of the Saiyans before they were inducted by Frieza into his army. So I'm changing my theory to that. It looks like this is just going to be a Universe Seven, not really going to Universe Six. But what the fuck do I know? We don't know anything. Um, and before we get into the more news coming, it's, um, oh, we all know this, it is a villain, um, that's gonna have a history with Frieza. So this movie's gonna be exploring the history with Frieza, the Saiyans, I suspect it'll be about the beginning of Frieza inducting them into the army, and maybe this guy is, you know, maybe he's one of them that didn't want to fucking do it. That would be my guess, he didn't want to do it. And he turned on the Saiyan race, maybe? Uh, that that would be my guess. But it's going to show Frieza's history with the Saiyans, which is interesting because we know basically nothing besides what he's done to Vegeta and the fact that he just took them all. So, alright. And then on the release for Dragon Ball Super, the movie, it's coming out December 14th in Japan. That's set in stone. It's happening. But for the first time, it may come out the same day in Japan as it does in all other countries. Like, they specifically said a global release will be on the same day, if not as soon as possible. So that is great to hear. I love that. I love hearing that they're actually going to recognize, not that they haven't before, but the fact that they're recognizing to the fact of really pushing the release dates close together, if not on the same day. I just love that. I love hearing that from uh, 
Toei. And next, this, there's no news, no new news in this quote specifically, but it hints at, it literally tells you there's going to be even more hype coming out soon in the next couple of days, if not hours. It says, from Mr. Opai Senpai on Twitter, um, new updates on movie announced soon. Look forward to it within days or hours. So maybe I made a mistake making this video right now because the second I shut off this camera, it's going to be just dropped all over Twitter and I'm going to have to make a whole new video, but I'm hoping not. So expect to see a video here again soon. And subscribe if you if you want to get if you want to know what Mr. Opai Senpai is really talking about. So huge news coming up soon for Dragon Ball Super. We're gonna have to check that out when it comes out. And thanks for watching this video, guys. Subscribe, comment, like. If you're not gonna do the last two, at least do the first one. And thanks for watching.